the beginning of any year is, is busy, but maybe particularly here at a, a place like Michael House, it's just so frenetic. There is so much going on, both academically and on the sports field and the cultural realm. It's so frenetic that I, I really look forward to, to Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday is that day that signals the beginning of a new season, the season of Lent. And Lent gives us a permission to slow down, to become a little more reflective, to become more sort of introspective as we prepare ourselves for, for Easter. But there's one last bit of frenetic energy before we begin Lent, and that's the, the Shrove Tuesday pancake race. Shrove Tuesday comes out of a lovely tradition that has arisen that before the season of fasting and of denial, we have this one last bash where we, we eat, we have pancakes, we use up all of our luxuries. And reflecting that is this race. We have a pancake race around, around the, the main quad. The energy and the noise is just is something to behold. This is a tradition I believe that was begun by Father Fred Patu, uh, and it is now really a firm favorite on the calendar here at Michael House. Lent is a time where we follow Jesus' example. The, the 40 days of Lent echoes Jesus' time that he spent in the wilderness. And just as he was called to a time of, of fasting, so it is for us. In a, in a world in which well, we go so quickly, so fast, we have so many things, we're so busy doing things and creating things and consuming things, that this call for us to slow down, to maybe consider the, the call of fasting, of doing without, being called afresh to, to pray and to seek God and to seek his will for our lives. And so our call, and, and I'm so glad that here at Michael House, we still follow the traditions that after Shrove Tuesday follows Ash Wednesday, and then the season, the season in which we, we reflect, we look to God, we prepare ourselves to to remember and to celebrate Jesus, his time on the cross and uh, the, the resurrection thereafter. If we, over the 40 days, focus our attention on maybe living slightly more simple lives, being careful at what we, we watch, what we hear, what we do, who we, who we spend time with, we just simply be, take this time to focus not so much on ourselves, but on Jesus and on his will for our lives. We can do a lot to restore our souls, to live simpler lives that are maybe more centered outwards, centered on people and on God, rather than on ourselves and our busyness. Can I commend to you keeping the season of Lent? If you haven't done that for some time, if you're out of the habit of, of fasting, there's no time like the present to try again, to try and just take on some of those disciplines that come with Lent. And I, I want to assure you but as you seek God, the promise is that you will be found. He will find you. As you seek and as you ask, you will find the questions, the answers to the questions that you, you're looking for. So can I commend to you the season of Lent, a time for you to restore your soul.